Hello everyone, it is me, Didi from Vibes That Heal, and today I just want to talk about why meditating is different for women. Let's get into it. If you're a woman and you're watching this, chances are it's really hard for you to do still fullness meditation where you sit still for um, a certain amount of time. I am a strong believer that that's not really how meditation was meant for women anyway. I think it got confusing down the line. I feel like it was something meant to help men overcome the temptations of their physical body as we all know men tend to be more grounded, more focused, more stable when it comes to their contact with the earth. And that's great, that's why we love them. But women on the other hand, that isn't what helps us actually, it's actually the opposite. We're being still and learning how to look beyond the body is something that could really benefit men. It's not necessarily something that will benefit women. If anything, it will give you more energy and more space. Basically, I just wanted to give women three different ways they can meditate. The most obvious way is clearly yoga because then you're not just staying still, you're incorporating movement and you're focusing on your breath and you're being allowed to clear your head. So I feel like a woman can't go wrong with yoga. It's a way to connect you to your body. Most of the time we are very internal as women, but it's mostly focused in the head. We care about how people look at us. We care about what people think about us and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just women are very internal. And so I feel like meditation originally was made to make men more internal as well and so that kind of got lost because women started doing the same thing and they weren't seeing the same results i've read books where it was like women were starting to feel confused they were meditating they were chanting and they were still very unhappy very depressed, very out of it. And I think that's why women, like I said, are taught from a very early age to put their needs aside for others. They're told to make sure that they're just being given. They're, they're giving to others. They're always helping and caring about others. Women don't really have these issues where, I'm gonna say most women in general don't really have those issues where their body forces them to do things or, you know, their, their brain functions are overridden by their physical needs. Most women don't have that problem. And so what we need to focus on is basically just getting into our body. We're always so focused on what this person wants and what that person wants. Yoga allows you to get into your body, which is something that a lot of women have not it's something that most women aren't able to do in the society. Most women are working full time. They have kids. They're in college. They're, <laughs> they're doing a lot of things. And so it's easy for us to get disconnected from the body. And so I think yoga is definitely a good meditation for most women. It incorporates mind, body, and spirit. So definitely yoga. The thing is yoga can be anywhere from seven minutes to 45 minutes, um, sometimes two hours, just depends on what you want. I recommend Kudalini yoga or just a yoga that gets you breathing, gets you out of your head and into your body so that you can be more grounded as a woman when our natural tendency is to you know, float off into the sky sometimes. And I'm being really general here, of course, there are some women who are more grounded and they need help, you know, not being so focused on material needs, but I'm speaking about the average woman in this case. So one, yoga. Two, I would say set aside time to be completely alone. Women are often surrounded by they're often surrounded by people who need things from them, whether it's a listening ear, you know, someone to vent to. And so women are often, they're often an emotional punchy bag for a lot of people. And I don't think this is intentionally, but one thing you could do to combat others need to find comfort in you, 
you make sure you take time out of your day for yourself. And what this means is you find 20 minutes where you can be alone for that whole time. And I'm not talking about meditation. You just need to be alone. That is the first step. That is the first step for a woman to hear her intuition and to feel her emotions because most of the time women aren't focused on their emotions <laughs> I'm sorry you guys I'm listening to some classic music but back to the matter at hand 20 minutes every day alone if you can't do that 15 minutes at the least I think to, I think 10 minutes is too short but if that's all you got take it and hopefully it can increase now you're probably wondering what are you gonna do with 20 minutes of silence to yourself and you're thinking do I even have to be silent no so you are somewhere alone for 20 minutes you tell everybody to leave you alone you shut the door now what you do is you do sit for a little bit but you sit to let things settle okay you're finally alone you take some deep breaths and you should feel a shift starting to happen very important you should feel the shift starting to happen if you don't continue to sit take a some deep breaths and then what you can do is you can put on some music without words um, maybe some drums maybe the violin the piano you put that on and you feel the music you can dance you can continue to sit cross leg and sway you can do a lot of different things depending on how I feel I will dance I will sway, I will bob my head, but it's basically just trying to get you attuned with your body. The music's clearly gonna be vibrating through your body, and so you're getting yourself there. And after that, you'll turn the music down, and you'll just let your mind go out. And your mind will go out because it finally has a chance to be completely self-absorbed. You're not worrying about your sister, your cousin, or your mother. You finally have time to just sit there and worry about you. So, number one, yoga. Number two, 20 minutes of alone time every day for my woman. And when you're doing the 20 minutes basically whatever crosses your mind just let it flow <laughs> let it flow to let it go and so if there's a co-worker at your job who's been bothering you what you can do is visualize what you want to happen like um do you want her to go away do you do you want to punch her in the face like I had no I've known people that say like I was really bothered by this person and I'm not gonna lie, my whole 20 minutes <laughs> was spent getting justice. Like, um, I visualized myself punching her, yelling at her, telling her to get off my back, and I feel good. So, <laughs> if that is your alone time, so be it. Some people visualize themselves putting up the, the middle fingers to all their responsibility and running off to France or something. It just depends on what you want to do. I don't think anything is wrong or right. It is your time. I feel like women, <laughs> we're often told we can't have these sort of dreams or we can't have these sort of dreams. We can't, we can't do a lot of things. And so I don't feel like you should limit yourself in your aloneness okay there aren't many ways to live out our dreams nowadays without someone being on your back so i say if you want to do that in your time alone feel free to do it okay because we've all known reports where it says people who visualize they feel happy like even though it's just taking place in their heads the mind can't really differentiate between what's happening and what's being imagined unless you're like a really strict person that's like this is definitely fake <laughs> then of course your mind's gonna be like this is fake so again those were the two yoga and 20 minutes alone every day the third one is pretty optional it is creating archetypes for yourself if you don't know what an archetype is it's basically like i describe it as the energy of a certain personality so for me a queen doesn't really represent a queen it's like the energy of a queen is an archetype like 
Um, not everyone can be a queen, but we all can tap into that queen like energy. And so I would call it a, a, the queen archetype. And uh, so what you do is you examine yourself. You look at all of the personalities that have been fighting to come out. And for some people, they look at all their current personalities so it could be easier to recognize the personalities within themselves that are trying to come out. Sometimes we can't tap into that queen energy because we're, you know, we're not in a place where that would make sense. Sometimes we need to um, tap into our angel energy. That's basically a very light, innocent energy. Um, I'll give you some of the archetypes that I've worked with. I've worked with the networker, the gossiper. <laughs> um, I I love gossip channels, so that's a shadow that often wants to come out within me. Um, archetypes aren't necessarily shadows, but I call that one a shadow. Most of the time, archetypes just represent a king, a queen, a damsel. <laughs> um the sabotager just anything that you can think of and you basically give it and give it a face give it an appearance if if you feel that if you if your mind is starting to label it let it do it if you don't feel and if you don't see anything but you feel the energy that's also good as well and what you do is you just get to know these energies um, you're not really allowed to bring them out in certain settings, so let them run run wild. So this is something you can do in your 20 minutes of silence. But sometimes I do it alone. Sometimes I don't want to do the 20 minutes of silence. I'll listen to some music and then I'll get right into the archetypes and I let them come out. There are also children archetypes, you know, sometimes our inner child wants to come out and there are different types of inner childs. You have the magical inner child, the internal inner child, you have the nature. It just depends on the things you like growing up were probably parts of you that still reside in you that want to come out. So that's another way women can meditate. I hope this has helped some women who are watching this because I feel like most women feel like they have to sit down, they have to be still, they have to ignore their body and it's the exact opposite. Most women aren't, <laughs> you know, trapped by their bodies once, you know, they, if anything, they're just, they're trapped in their own heads on how to be the perfect mother, the perfect daughter and things like that. And so I really hope these three ideas have helped anyone. So I'll just repeat them again before I go. The first one is yoga because it connects mind, body, and spirit. The second one is to spend 20 minutes every day alone. And uh, I'll let you decide what you wanna do in that 20 minutes. Honestly, I gave you suggestions, but do what you want. It's your 20 minutes of alone time. <laughs> And the third one is to tap into your archetypes. Um, I'll give you an example of mine. The queen archetype is a really big one for me, but so is the, the vampire. I'm not an energy vampire, but I'm really good at picking up energy vampires. And when you're good at picking up energy vampires, in a way you become one. So it's like becoming one to stop <laughs> being, um, to stop attracting them and I have the networker I love you know to interact and help people I have the saboteur that comes up when there's a lot of self-sabotage so sometimes I let that come up in my meditation and it's just a way to see what I'm afraid of because I feel like I'm I sabotage myself when I don't know what it is that I want I feel like that's something we all do at a certain point and it's something we have to learn from but I do hope those three suggestions helped any woman who felt like just the plain meditation just wasn't for them I know so many women who's like I I should meditate but I don't because I just don't want to sit down for a long period of time I just want to do something fun and that's very feminine quality like I want to do something fun like I don't want to be restricted even in my meditations and I agree so 
I hope those three tips for how a woman can meditate has helped you. Again, I am Dee Dee from Vibes That Heal. Check out my website, vibesthatheal.com, or my Etsy shop for any readings, consultations. Again, Vibes That Heal. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time.